You got water in your emergency drain pan? No bueno. Watch this video. I'll show you how we correct the issue step by step. She's a leaker. It's a good thing you got that emergency pan. <laughs> Internal pan filled with water. They say you can tell how old the system is by how many couplings you have. Every five or ten years, they add a coupling. <laughs> We're going to do something a little different right now. I'm going to cut in a union. That way, when it needs to be drained in the future or flushed out, uh, you separate the union instead of cutting the pipe and adding another coupling. It's like... Uh, it's like a handyman special. All right, so we're gonna add a three quarter inch uh, slip union here, okay? I got my primer, I got my glue. That's what works for me, and that's what's required in my jurisdiction. Um, then we'll check out the capacitor and look at the, the rest of the damage inside this air handling unit. What I like to do, we're gonna prime first. So, got my little primer. Now, I know I'm in an attic, but I like to protect my work area and not get any mess all over the place. So I'm doing a little extra because we're going to cut out a little section in the middle because we do have a variation there. Or um, there's some of there, it's not much, it's about half an of an inch, but that's going to go right there. Okay. <laughs> Next, I'm going to apply primer to my union. All right, one of the things you're going to notice is that I put my glue there. When I cut this, right, this line is going to want to drop. And it's probably going to be filled with water unless all of the stoppage is in the trap. So it's going to drop right on top of the the uh, solvent or the primer, or the glue for the PVC. So I'm just slowly cutting in this. And as soon as I cut this, I'm going to raise this up, okay? Because if the stoppage was not here, right we're going to be able to um keep the water from pouring out <laughs> right here so now we're now going to use our drain cat or you can use co2 or you can even use your mouth and blow on this to clear the stoppage okay i'm using the diversitech drain cat this is model mbk6 this is a refillable uh, nitrogen or co2 kit and comes with this i don't know i think it's like a four or five foot hose with various adapters and we're going to blow out this drain line just like that easy peasy still got one more left my nitrogen is now empty we have this line Yep, I'm gonna do it. And we did it. That line is now clear. And yes, I know you could use a vacuum to suck the dirt and sludge um, out through the trap instead of back into the evaporator. But honestly, the vacuum was in the truck. It's three flights down and um, this works in a pinch. So keeping it real. Let's glue in our union. All right, so I glued in my union, PVC slip union. I am now gonna let this sit for, I don't know, a good hot minute, you know, about a minute or so, and then quickly connect these two together. And all the water is gonna drain out into our drain. There we go. And away troubles go down the drain. And away troubles go down the drain. All right, so our union is now connected. Got a little bit of cocky right there, but that's why I have my little rag right there. And our system is now draining. As you can see, water's gone, so a little bit remains. All right, there's one more thing to do. I like to use these tablets by the new Calgon. Let me show you. So I got these little tablets. These are uh, condensate neutralizing tablets, similar to those mini strip uh, condensate treatment um, 
condensate pan treatment strips that you see for mini split systems. I think also by New Calgon, but I just take a, a few of these, maybe three or four, and just throw them in there, all right? It's going to help neutralize the, um, you know, just that condensate that's there and prevent stoppages there. Um, what we also could use, right, prevent future stoppages um, by PrevClog. We can use that uh, that antibacterial, that string that's um, made of copper. There's copper elements in there. And it gets inserted from the air handler through the drain line and out. So I'll make a future video on that. I don't think I have one specific on that. But it's guaranteed not to clog your condensate drain for 20 years if, if used and installed properly.